Hey everyone and welcome to BitFreeze Weekly Crypto News. Here are this week's top headlines in the crypto news. Bloomberg reveals AI for financial data. Community responds. UK banks are turning away crypto clients. US government to liquidate over $1,175,000 in Bitcoin seats from secret hacker. Litecoin dubbed a commodity by CFTC could reignite digital silver narrative. Cardano primed for explicit reality thanks to upcoming feature giving users direct access to Ethereum dubs from ADA wallets. Bitcoin mining emissions intensity falls to new low. After Manhattan indictment, Trump's NFT training courts see sharp rise in value. Then work to start taxing Bitcoin profits, rules the Supreme Court. SEC brings charges against Pixie for not registering as securities exchange. Bloomberg reveals AI for financial data. Community responds. Financial media outlet Bloomberg reveals a new artificial intelligence model intending to open new ways to use the data available within the company's terminal. Many responded to the latest development, with some saying that this sparks the next wave of corporate AI. On March 30th, Bloomberg released a research paper that provides detailed information about the development of what it calls Bloomberg GPT. According to the media outlet, the AI has been created to perform various natural language processing tasks after training with a large financial data set. UK banks are turning away crypto clients. Crypto companies are facing difficulties accessing banking services in the United Kingdom, according to multiple sources interviewed by Bloomberg. A few banks still working with crypto firms are requesting more documentation and information about how they monitor clients' transactions. Challenges include having applications rejected, accounts frozen, and overwhelming paperwork. Crypto companies have even complained to the government of Prime Minister Rishi Sunak as the situation worsened in the past weeks. The move goes in the opposite direction of Sunak's plans to prioritize financial technology disruption and make the UK a global crypto hub. US government to liquidate over $1,175,000,000 in Bitcoin seized from Silk Road hacker. The U.S. government is planning to sell more than $1.17 billion in Bitcoin that was seized as part of the Silk Road illicit market case. According to a new federal court filing, the government is planning to sell the remainder of the approximate 51,351 Bitcoin seized from hacker James Zhong, who authorities accused of stealing the virtual assets from Silk Road in 2012. Per the filing, the government has already sold about 9,861 Bitcoin of the total amount seized for more than $215 million on March 14th, leaving about 41,491 Bitcoins. Litecoin dubbed the commodity by CFTC could reignite digital silver narrative. According to the filing, the CFTC has explicitly renamed Litecoin, along with Bitcoin and Ethereum, to be a commodity under their jurisdiction. The CFTC is in charge of regulating commodity futures markets such as oil, soy, corn, silver, and gold. Cardano primed for explosive reality thanks to upcoming feature giving users direct access to Ethereum dApps from ADA wallets. Cardano is on its way to becoming a top chain compatible with Ethereum virtual machine after the impending introduction of a new feature that will allow users to seamlessly use an EVM contract directly from any ADA wallet. The team behind the Cardano ecosystem will release a killer innovation making ADA a top EVM chain by next month. 
The news was announced on Thursday by leading blockchain developer and Milky Meta co-founder Sebastian Gulema. Bitcoin mining emissions intensity falls to new low. Bitcoin mining operations are becoming more sustainable as emissions intensity declines. More miners are now using sustainable energy, and hardware efficiency has improved. Bitcoin mining emissions intensity has dropped to its lowest ever level, according to Wood Charts. Climate technology venture investor and activist Daniel Barron posted the findings on April 3rd. According to the chart, Bitcoin mining now produces fewer energy emissions when compared to its energy consumption. Baden predicted that Bitcoin is on track to halve its emissions per kilowatt hour within three and a half years. No other industry is reducing emission intensity as fast, he added. After Manhattan indictment, Trump's NFT trading court sees sharp rise in value. Digital trading cards tied to Donald Trump, the 45th President of the United States, have seen a spike in price following news that a grand jury in Manhattan voted to indict him. The NFT collection has also seen a surge in trading volume. On March 31st, one day after the former president was indicted, the trading volume of his digital card spiked to 87 Ethereum, around $160,000 compared to 34 Ethereum the earlier day. The NFT collection features a series of digital cards depicting Trump in various iconic poses and situations, which include Trump as a muscle-bound wrestling champion, Trump holding a basketball, and even Trump in space. The work to start taxing Bitcoin profits rules the Supreme Court. Investors and miners who profit from selling Bitcoin will have to abide by taxation rules in the Kingdom of Denmark. The Supreme Court of Denmark ruled that people should be subject to taxation when generating profits by selling Bitcoin. The legislation will apply to both investors and miners. The Supreme Court assumes that Bitcoins are generally only acquired with a view to being sold and, to a limited extent, to be used as a means of payment. SEC brings charges against Bixi for not registering as Securities Exchange. The Securities and Exchange Commission charged cryptocurrency platform Bixi and its executives for allegedly failing to register as an exchange, broker, and clearing agency, the latest crypto related move by the U.S. Securities Regulator. The SEC also charged founder Arctic Hamas Spain and a company he controlled, Big C Digital Limited, with raising $8 million in an unregistered offering of the Big C token. The SEC also said he used $900,000 for personal use, including gambling. Thanks for accompanying us with this week's crypto news. If you want to get notified of our latest videos, subscribe to the channel and hit the notification bell.